Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to subscribe, like, comment, and share this show. Now let's get started with today's show. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of interest and chatter in paid email newsletter subscriptions. For authors, content monetization platforms such as Substack, which are used for these types of publications, provide a way to add another profit center, but are they really money makers? We're going to talk about that today. The question came up from one of my followers about Substack and Patreon and Medium and how those fit into the self-publishing ecosystem. Unlike Kindle Direct Publishing, which is for books, these platforms concentrate on continuing content, which would be blogs or podcasts. Substack and Patreon allow authors to charge subscription, monthly subscription fees, for this continuing blog or podcast content. On Medium, it's a little bit different in that uh, authors and creators there post their content, but subscribers subscribe to the whole site. So the subscription fee for readers is just one flat fee, and they can read and consume anything that's on the site. But let's talk about paid email subscription newsletters. Most authors are familiar with the newsletters that are sent out through MailChimp, Constant Contact, and other platforms. Those are marketing type of newsletters, and usually authors will use something like a reader magnet to get people to opt in. The purpose of these newsletters is basically to sell products and services and books. Nobody's going to pay for that. So these paid subscription email newsletters are more valuable and exclusive and substantive content by comparison. The content for these email newsletters is not in the email itself. Let's just imagine if a subscriber is paying for the email newsletter and they get the whole article or whatever content it is in the email, what's to stop them from forwarding it to everyone on their email list? So typically how these work, when a new publication or newsletter is available, the subscribers who are paying will get a link to it, and then they consume it on the platform content monetization platform, which would be Patreon or Substack. Or medium, I guess. Excitement around paid newsletters waxes and wanes, and every so often there will be a flurry of excitement about it. But they've been around for a long time. Typically, they are called paywall or gated content, and lots of sites have that. It's really just a blog or a podcast that's put behind a paywall. Except nobody wants to call it blogging anymore because it's not as cool to say you blog as to say, oh, I have a paid email newsletter now. Paid newsletter subscriptions have been around for a very, very long time. One of the most popular is in the personal investment finance world, and that's the Kiplinger letter. And it was started as a postal newsletter in 1923. So that was like a century ago. So yeah, this is nothing new. It's still going today, by the way. But here's the big myth about content monetization platforms. I've seen a number of authors and creators get all excited about starting their Patreon account or their Substack subscriptions. And they think their content has high value, and maybe it does, and they definitely want to get some pay for that. I understand. However, even though the authors value their content, and subscribers might too, subscribers may not value it enough to want to spend a few dollars every month to get it. 
forever. There's just too much good free content on the internet to justify that cost. So usually what happens is they set up these Patreon or Substack accounts and then their most loyal fans and friends and family subscribe, but really not too many beyond that. If you look at the sites like Substack or Patreon, you'll see that they'll say you can monetize your audience. What does that mean? That means you already have to have an audience. These sites do nothing to help you build your audience except provide you the tools for managing your audience. That's it. They're not going to promote your your channel or subscription or whatever you want to call it. They're not going to promote that for you. That's all on you and that is a huge investment. So can you really make money on these content monetization platforms? Well, you'll see on the Substacks and Patreons about all these wonderful creators that have been able to quit their day jobs because they're making so much money on these platforms. However, I would say that the majority of these people don't even make enough to make one utility bill payment per month. Some of them will point to these superstar creators. One of them that was featured in a New York Times article has 350,000 subscribers that she brought to her newsletter. That's a lot of people. You have to pay $5 a month in order to be able to comment on the articles or newsletters she writes. But here's the deal. In the article, they were talking about how this woman makes about a million dollars a year, they estimated, from this, this email newsletter. But if I multiplied $5 times 350,000 subscribers, that's a potential of about 20 million dollars or more. So only a few percentage of the subscribers actually are paying for this newsletter. And that's what I rant about all the time is that a very small percentage of your fans will actually pay for your content. And let's be honest, how many paid newsletters or subscriptions to Patreon or Substack do you personally buy? I'm going to say it's zero or a small single digit integer. Let's do the math again here. Let's say you do $5 a month for an author that you really like. That's about $60 a year that you're going to be paying for one author. Just from a budget perspective, you could rack up hundreds of dollars of subscription fees for this content every year. So it better be really, really good content. So you can see why some of these sites like Medium are popular with readers and subscribers because they can pay a flat fee of about $5 a month currently, and they can access all the content on that site, not just pay individual authors. The way authors would get paid on Medium has changed over the years as well. It used to be that your article had to have so many claps. It's kind of like a like on Facebook and you would get paid the more claps you got. So you can imagine that that system could be easily gamed by just telling people to clap for your article. So now you get paid for the amount of time a subscriber or reader spends on your article. So that's, I think, more fair but you have to look at these content monetization platforms in terms of the cost and commitment that it will take. Because people who pay for content are expecting exceptional and substantive content, that is a huge investment for you. And to do it constantly, such as monthly, weekly, even daily for some of these people, it will take a lot of cost on your part to create this material that people are willing to pay a monthly subscription to you on a Substack or Patreon. Before you sign on to any of these 
content monetization platforms, make sure you understand what it will take to be successful there. And usually this means building an audience before you even start using them. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast platform you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, Apple Podcasts and Spotify, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Pandora, and Podbean. If you like the YouTube video better, you just have to subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you get an alert when a new video is available. I would appreciate it if you would share the free audio podcast or video with your friends on social media. My self-published books are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. All you have to do is search for my name, Heidi Thorne, and my author page will come up and you'll see all the books available there. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is very simply HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. In the meantime, have a great day.